Welcome to Morning After, everybody. We are delighted to have you here, and we're touching on a topic that has really been top of mind lately uh, with regard to plasma donation. What is it? How can it help people? And what are the opportunities here in the Metroplex? Come to find out, there are really incredible opportunities right near us. So we want to bring in Blasa Hakes, who is the Corporate Affairs Director for Griffles. Good morning, Blasa. Good morning. Well, so first of all, can you explain what, what Griffles does and how you serve the community here? Sure. So Griffles is a global healthcare company, and we make medicines out of plasma. We operate plasma donor centers across the U.S., including in the Dallas area, under the names of uh, Plasma Telecris Plasma Resources and Biomet USA. And these centers collect plasma that we then turn into these important, critical, life-saving medicines. Can you explain what exactly is plasma? <laughs> plasma is uh, proteins and antibodies uh, that's a part of the blood. And we collect this plasma, pull these proteins and antibodies out of the plasma to make these medicines that treat people who might be missing these antibodies or their bodies can't make it. Okay, you explained that beautifully. I was actually very confused by it until you explained that. So for those who want to donate, what do they need to know? So first, it's a procedure that thousands of people do every single day. So as long as they eat a healthy meal, are well rested, and are well hydrated, it should be a pretty easy procedure. They come into our center, they get a health screening, and then they can sit back, relax, while we take the plasma, and we return the red blood cells. And plasma is mostly water, so your body quickly makes up for it. So then you can donate much more frequently, up to twice a week with a full day in between. And this is important because it takes a lot of donations. We need anywhere from 130 to 1300 donations just to make enough medicine to treat one patient for just one year. Oh, wow. So people, people, if they're able to, you really want to be consistent and continue to contribute, continue to donate. Of course, we have up here on the screen video recorded pre-COVID. So I, I do want to hear about some of the precautions that you all have taken, because it sounds like you have gone above and beyond just to make sure that it's incredibly safe and clean in that environment. Absolutely. As soon as the pandemic hit, we have implemented all the protocols that the CDC recommended and beyond. We have uh, enhanced all of our cleaning procedures, enhanced the PPE equipment their employees wear. We have uh, physical distancing throughout our centers. We've even installed plexiglass barriers between donors where we're able to. And we are monitoring everyone's temperature when they come into our center, both donors and employees. And we do require face masks for everybody inside of our centers. What's the experience like for somebody who goes in and donates? for the first time? Uh, it'll take a little bit. They want to plan about up to two hours because on that first donation, they are going to get a physical. And we want to do this to make sure that they are healthy to donate. After that, it's much more, much faster, about an hour to go into the center to donate. Okay. Well, I think that you most certainly encouraged some new donations and also educated us uh, with regard to opportunities all around the Metroplex. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. So if you guys are interested in more information, if that kind of piqued your interest, it's grifflesplasma.com. Now you'll also find them on Griffles Plasma 1940 on Facebook, but I tested that out this morning. You guys, you can just search Griffles Plasma. You'll find their Facebook page and there is a wealth of information on there.